Well, hello from the uh, beautiful Lake District Dale of Estale. Uh, I've been here for a few days, walking around, doing a few wading rides, getting a feel for this area, which I've never been to before. It's often described as a rather beautiful, uh, quiet, hidden away part of the lake, so the bit that no one ever goes to. <laughs> and judging by how quiet it is around here on this bank all day Tuesday, I'll let you guess which one that is. Um, it's certainly true, very quiet, very lovely. But today, I'm going to do something quite splendid, something I've been aiming to do for quite some time. I'm going to go up England's highest mountain. I'm going to go up Scarfell. So, what? Scarfell Pike's the highest mountain in England. Well, that's just... Well, that's screwed up the entire... Well, that's just... Might as well go home. Sod this. Okay, so the plan is simple, but using my uh, trusty Wainwright guide to the Southern Fells, uh, I'm going to follow his instructions to get to his car fell from, uh, from Estelle, and he suggests going up uh, by a slight side. And then going on a bridge route up to Scarfell, which is very high up, and I think the second, so the second highest mountain I've done in Britain. <laughs> Then we're going to come down through Camp Spout and then back down Estale, down there, uh, to return to my tent at Boot. And then we go for a pint. Um, it's put to you, the weather's a bit um, grim today, not the best. Yes, it's beautiful blue skies, gorgeous sun, a lot. But you know, you can't have everything, and there's a bit of wind which will at least keep me cool. So, anyway, so stop hanging around here and get on. Well, the mountain weather forecast today said the uh, chances of a cloud-free summit were pretty good. <laughs> I'm looking ahead of me thinking, hmm, yeah, maybe not. I mean, even on a, a good day, uh, that would be, slight side would be a, one heck of a, uh, a feat anyway, because that's 748 metres above sea level according to the old OS map. Yes, I'm not just navigating by Wayne right alone. I do have the old Ordnance Survey with me. Um, and yeah, I think when you look at it again, let's look at that again. 748. What I'm more concerned about actually is the huge amount of cloud behind it. <laughs> Scarfell might not be as easy as uh, I'd hoped. Well, it's looking a bit more ominous now for the summit cloud. That's Heart of Fell, which I did a couple of days ago. And earlier today it was absolutely, <coughs> excuse me, very clear on the top. And now it's getting increasingly heavy with cloud. Uh, and I've just turned around and found their slight side, and that's got a, a, a bit of a cloud topping as well. Um, I told you, there's not a lot of wind. And actually, the clouds are staying quite still. Uh, but every now and then, a little bit of gust of wind seems to keep blowing more and more this way. Whoops. Um, so, goodness knows what it would be like up there. I'm not very good at navigating in mist and cloud. Um, 
So it might be I get to slight side and think, hmm, no, perhaps better not to go any further, but we'll, uh, we'll see anyway. Uh, it might all blow over. The sun might burn it all out. But if you look over there, I don't know if you can tell. You can't really tell, I don't think. There's a tiny little brightness there on the horizon. I think that's the sun trying to get out, and that's, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. There somewhere is the uh, summit of um, Slight Side. Uh, unfortunately, the only way you seem to be able to get up there is to scramble up some very slippery looking rocks. Uh, it didn't look like this would be a nice, easy route here, but this big, <laughs> big rock seems to stop that. Uh, if it was on a dry day, sunny day, it's a bit quick to come up here and be alright, but I've got quite wet boots because there's been a bit of rain. Uh, I'm slipping, slipping around on normal rocks, so... A few short metres away, if I, I just come up here... I think this is it, this is... This is officially, this is officially uh, as high as I feel safe going, so... Uh, <laughs> I'm calling this one. Slight side is in the bag. The big question is whether to actually go on Scarfell, as you see it's very, very cloudy and it has been ever since I got here. The path goes somewhere over here. I'm going to give it a go for a short while, see how it is, uh, and then if, well, just see if I can see where to go actually, because that's the biggest problem. Um, if I can't see where I'm going, then I'm going to give up and go back home this way, but we'll see. Well, uh, hello again. I'm now probably about uh, half a mile from Warhouse, which is somewhere down there in the valley. And as you might guess, and as you might guess from the title of this video, I didn't make it up Scarfell. Um, as soon as I left the summit of uh, Slight Side and went on the, um, the kind of sorry, better word, the, the kind of plateau between the two. Um, it was abundantly clear the clouds were very thick and very heavy and and add to that it started raining. And in such circumstances, well, you know, it's disappointing but it's better to be safe than sorry. So I uh, looked at the decision to head back down. Got slightly lost trying to find, got slightly lost trying to find uh, actually the, the summit of slight side again. That's how you know I'd only been away about a quarter of a mile and even finding where that was in the cloud was incredibly difficult, so I wrapped out the right decision. The most important thing of any situation like this is that the hill, it'll still be there. I'll be back for Scarfell, hopefully on a better day, hopefully I'll bag it next time, uh, and hopefully I'll do a little video to tell you all about it. In the meantime, I'm going to head back down there and probably try and find myself a cup of coffee and <laughs> warm myself up. Goodbye. <laughs>